What can you possibly do in Rome in 24 hours? Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Sarah and I do weekly videos all about travel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you three things you can do in Rome if you've got a day or 24 hours in the city. Incredibly rich in history, Rome is a captivating destination with so much to see and do. Although trying to see all of Rome in a day is not easy, at least seeing the best of Rome is something you can reasonably consider. Let's dive into what you can cover. First stop, the Colosseum. Arguably the most important landmark in Rome. This iconic location receives thousands of visitors every day, so it is a good idea for you to go there really early to avoid huge crowds. Depending on how interested you are in this attraction, you can either go for a tour that takes you to the underground area, which would take a while, but will give you a good insight, or you can just book a tour of the arena. Regardless of which option you go for, you will be amazed. Number two, once you're done at the Colosseum, you should head off to see the Trevi Fountain. I suggest you do this by walking, which would take you about 25 minutes. Make sure to wear very comfortable shoes because it might take you the same amount of time by bus because of the traffic situation in Rome. The Trevi Fountain is a unique local site which features beautiful classical statues. It became even more famous after it was featured in classical films such as Roman Holidays, if you've watched that. You have to be extra patient because the crowd at this fountain is unbelievable. So for you to get a good time, you have to be patient and wait for your turn so you can actually see and enjoy the fountain. Number three, the Vatican City. The impressive St. Peter's Basilica welcomes you to the Vatican grounds. This is the most religious center for the Christian community. And this is also considered to be the burial site of St. Peter, who was the chief among Jesus' apostles and also the first Pope in history. If you would like to go inside, bear in mind they are very long queues, so you'll be waiting for a while and it goes quite slow. So these are the three things that will fill up your day without being too overwhelming and you can also find time to sit down and have a good meal with a drink and you can also do a bit of shopping. Now that we've covered the three best things to do in Rome, I'm going to give you five tips that will help you on your vacation to Rome. Tip number one, avoid the crowds. Rome is busy all year round, but the best times to visit is March to May and September to November when the weather is pleasant and it is not too crowded. Also, when visiting the popular places, go there very early in the morning or right before closing. Tip number two, know what to wear. Rome is filled with magnificent churches and if you're planning on visiting any of them, dress appropriately or you may be denied entry. Typically, shoulders and knees have to be covered. Tip number three, stay chic but comfortable. I would advise you to ditch the fancy heels and throw on a pair of comfortable walking shoes as you might be doing a bit of walking. Tip number four, bring your water bottle and fill them at the public fountains. There are so many fountains at every corner of Rome with clean drinking water, so do not buy bottled water, especially from the guys on the street, as some of them use the old bottles from the tourists to refill water from these same fountains and sell to you. That brings me to my last tip, which is make sure you carry some cash. 
I was quite shocked at how the card economy isn't the most popular in Rome. Small cafes, street vendors and local markets only accept cash. So bring some cash with you but avoid carrying too much cash to avoid pickpocketing. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like, comment and share. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.